Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy DJ Sweet Lou in the building, man, and I'm back with another bang, another episode of Keep It A Bean. You guys that don't know what Keep It A Bean means, that means that one shall tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. All right, y'all, so that's what we're about to do, but I want to talk about my NFL playoff predictions a lot of interesting matchups on this week one wild card. A lot of interesting matchups. We're going to start off with the AFC. We got the Jaguars and we got the Chargers. Okay, y'all. So, uh, the Jaguars are kind of on a hot streak. They won three straight games. They won like five or the last six or something like that. And they coming in hot, man. Trevor Lawrence, I mean, he hasn't been the hottest the last three weeks. Went throwing one touchdown in the last three weeks. But, you know, he got, listen, it's both their first playoff games, Justin Herbert and Trevor Lawrence. And I think I like, I like what I see from the Jags, man. I like what I see from the Jags. I really do. I really like what I see from the Jags. Um, they beat the Chargers. They beat the Chargers the first time. What was it like, twenty-seven to ten? Beat them week three, so they wasn't even, you know, on the on the crazy stuff. Trevor Lawrence that game threw for two hundred sixty-two yards, three touchdowns. James, they had James Robinson back in the day. Okay, Zay Jones, Christian Kirk, all was cooking. Marvin Jones obviously not going to be here. The Chargers, on the other hand, Justin Herbert. 297, one touchdown, one pick. Eckler did next to nothing that game. Obviously, they didn't have Michael. They had Michael Williams, but they didn't have um, Keenan Allen. So this game's obviously going to be a little bit different. That was L.A. at home. This is going to be Jacksonville at home. So we're going to go ahead with the Jags. We're going to take the Jags on that one. All right. Next, we got Bengals and Ravens. Bengals and Ravens, obviously, Ravens are without Lamar Jackson. They're looking to me like they're trying to, like, basically just destroy their whole, uh, destroy everything they got going on right now. Like, they're, they just, they just out of pocket. They're not trying to pay Lamar his bread. And obviously, let's keep it a bean. You got to pay that man his bread, bro. The Ravens are absolutely dog water. They're absolutely shitless. They're absolutely nothing without Lamar Jackson. And they're going to be without their backup quarterback, it seems, uh, Huntley, who was kind of keeping them afloat, 3-3. Three and three. But their offense is dog shit. Like, it, let's just keep it a bean. It's absolutely dog water. Um, the Bengals, on the other hand, are just absolutely on fire. Winners of eight straight. Jamar Chase, everybody in the helm, everybody healthy. For that, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and take. I'm going to go ahead and take the. You thought I was gonna say Ravens. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Bengals on that one. That's kind of like very obvious. As far as the spread goes, uh, Jacksonville. Jacksonville is gonna beat the Chargers. By at least a field goal, so I really would set that. Um, I would set that spread to minus three and a half for the um, for the Jaguars and for the Bengals. It's probably gonna be a demolition. Honestly, Cincinnati at home. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be a demolition. Bengals by at least fourteen and a half. I mean, it's just going to be that kind of game. They're going to get washed. And last but not least, we got... <clears throat> we got Bills Mafia versus the Miami Dolphins with their third string quarterback. All right, Teddy Bridgewater not playing. Tua Tagovailoa not playing. All right, so... We got kind. We they're probably gonna be without their running backs. They're probably gonna be without their left tackle. I mean, this is looking pretty, 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 pretty bad for the Dolphins. They're gonna get washed. 
I'm looking at a minus seven and a half. I would go, I would go minus nine and a half on a strong suit, but it could just very well be a touchdown. The, the, I mean, I don't know, man. Like I, I'm really trying to figure out how not to pick the Bills minus ten and a half. I don't want to talk myself into it. I already gave you the pick right there. Bills minus seven and a half by at least a touchdown. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be the bracket right there. Now we go on to the NFC side. NFC side, y'all. We got probably what's gonna be the probably what's gonna be the biggest game of the year quite possibly in terms of ratings in terms of just anticipation we got the cowgirls versus the tampa bay buccaneers with tom brady the go at the helm so man obviously in the beginning of the season the cowboys got annihilated 19 to 3 by tom brady and company and honestly, it's very I'm very hard pressed not to pick the Bucks again. Honestly. Honestly. Just because of these two reasons. Alright. Dak Prescott is dog shit. And number two, um the Bucks just seem to play the Cowboys good. Like they just not even the Bucks. Just Tom Brady. Was Tom Brady's Currently 7-0 and against the Cowboys. But it might be a close battle. I'm going to give it a close battle. All right, y'all. I'm going to give it a close battle. I'm not even going to go. I'm not even going to go outright and say that the Bucks are even going to get three and a half. I might keep the line at one and a half. I'm going to keep the line at one and a half for the Bucks. Should be safe. Should be clean. Still considered an upset as the Cowgirls. The Cowgirls are favored by three in this game. I'm taking the Bucks minus one and a half. Next, we got the Vikings and the Giants. Honestly, this game is a sleeper in the sense of the Giants. The Giants have a a good defense. I cannot cap on that. They do have a good defense. What they'll do with Kirk Cousins. What they'll do with Kirk Cousins and company. Honestly, I really don't know. Um, Jay Jettas should be in tune for a big, big breakout game. Especially in a playoff setting. Vikings at home. It's going to be, you're going to be hard pressed not to pick the Vikings. Against the lowly Giants. Um, the Giants have been getting some pretty good wins that, here and there. Some nice comeback wins. But honestly, uh, with Daniel Jones and Saquon, they could take advantage a little bit of the Vikings' poorest defense. But on and all, man, I don't. I, I just think, I just think it's runs. It's runs for the uh, Giants. Minus f- minus five and a half. <clears throat> For the Vikings, they will win by two field goals at least. Okay, Vikings take on that victory there. And then we got the Niners and the Seahawks. This is a tricky game right here, ladies and gentlemen, because the Niners are so formidable. They are so formidable. They have a a potential defensive player of the year. Bosa, I mean, Christian McCaffrey has been a, a godsend for them. And... It's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough for the Seahawks to overcome all of that. But with that being said, though, this is the third time the Niners and the Seahawks will meet. Both times, the Niners pretty much uh, ran away with the games. The Seahawks really didn't stand any chance. They scored 7 one game, 13 in the other. They can't score on them. I don't think they can score on them. I mean, unless Geno has a crazy game, which I don't think is going to happen, it's hard-pressed not to take the Niners. It's hard-pressed not to take the Niners. But 
end this show, we always keep it a bean. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to throw a little caveat in there. I'm going to throw a little caveat in there. I think the Seahawks could win this game. A lot of people have the Niners going to the to the bowl. This is what I'm going to do for y'all. Okay? I'm going to take what I believe is going to win. What I will put my money on. I'm going to put it on the Seahawks. Bam. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that, we got the uh, AFC and the AF AFC and the NFC wild card out the way. We're gonna move on to the second round here. All right, NFC, we got Bird Gang, obviously, versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, obviously, the Bucks will just have beaten the Cowboys. They will be coming off a significant win. Um, but they cannot hang with Jalen Hurts. They can't hang with him. I'm thinking nice little six and a half spread for the, uh, for the birds. That's what I'm going to take. Six and a half birds. And if I didn't mention the Seahawks, uh, spread, I would take the Seahawks minus one. Minus one. Just straight up. Minus one. Okay. <laughs> Now, the Vikings and the Seahawks. This is where the Seahawks might end. This is where the Seahawks might end, okay? Um, I mean, they, they will be coming off a monumental win against the Niners. Very unexpected. But the Vikings are going to be firing on all cylinders. They're not going to be able to do nothing much with that offense. Kirk Cousins, I mean, look, Kirk Cousins, he probably going to fold, probably going to put up corny numbers. But I still expect the Vikings to win this game. Vikings minus five. See, Vikings minus five on that game. All right, moving on to the AFC. We got... Kansas City and Jacksonville. Jacksonville, you had a an amazing run. Great run. Taking nothing away from Trevor Lawrence. But your time has ended against the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs will handily win that game. Minus seven. No, minus six and a half. By a touchdown, at least. Minus six and a half. Bengals and Bills is the tricky one right here, y'all. This is going to be the most... Nah, I can't even say it's going to be the most highly anticipated game because <clears throat> obviously we had that game a couple weeks back on a Monday Night Football. DeMar Hamlin uh, passed out on the field due to a heart attack. So this is going to be the first snap since from both teams playing against each other. It's going to be very emotional. Motion's running high. Bill's going to be playing with an edge. They are at home. I'm going to go ahead and take the Bills on that one. Just, I think Josh Allen is just going to elevate his play to another level. Bengals have a really solid, complete team, but Josh Allen will will that team to victory. Minus two and a half by Phil Goal. All right. So, the championship games, ladies and gentlemen, the championship games. All right. Bird Gang versus the Vikings. Ah, that's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. Um, Listen, the Vikings got washed. It's week two against the Birds. I think it's just going to happen again, y'all. It's just going to happen again. It's going to happen again. They're going to get washed. Minus seven and a half. um, By at least two scores. Yeah, they're gonna they're, they're gonna go ahead and win that and go on to the Super Bowl. The Seahawks would have done the Birds obviously a favor by knocking out the Niners in the wild card round. So that leaves the Birds with the Vikings to go past. And honestly, we the Birds wouldn't won in any other way. <laughs> so Birds on to the bowl, Chiefs and Bills. 
Here we go. What do we got? Man, that's going to be a tough one. But the Bills would have come off a crazy win. Josh Allen playing at an absolute high level. But Mahomes playing also at an absolute high level. The Buffalo Bills are going to win that game, ladies and gentlemen. The Bills have the Chiefs number aside from that coin flip in overtime, honestly. Um, the Chiefs just can't they, 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 they can't hang, they can't stop Josh Allen. Like the Bills have a better chance at stopping Mahomes than the Chiefs do at stopping Josh Allen. And that's just that's just facts. Birds versus Bills, the double B's. Philadelphia Eagles flying all the way to the Super Bowl, winning the Super Bowl with a final score of 30 to 27. So Eagles minus two and a half on that game. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The NFL playoff predictions by yours truly, DJ Sweet Lou. If you, if you guys didn't see the bracket, there, there's the bracket right there. Yep, Bird Gang flying all the way high to the Super Bowl. And winning that Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts, <coughs> Super Bowl MVP, playoff MVP, whatever you want to give him. He's gonna he's gonna do it all, man. He's gonna do it all. So that's gonna be it for the video, y'all. On this latest episode of Keep It a Bean, where we keep it the fullest bean. We tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Drop that like, y'all. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Yeah. As always, man, DJ Sweet yeah. Lou. Say it out!